Everyone, good afternoon. Brian from Pipe Tile Tools and Accessories here. Uh, today, we're going to talk about lasers. Um, I, I just love that, you know, lasers. I think that was kind of a game changer when I saw that. Uh, you know, maybe we can get uh, Mr. Michael Myers to, uh, you know, do uh, uh, some commercials for us. But uh, yeah, it's not in the budget right now. Um, maybe we can even get Michael Myers from Halloween, or maybe we could get the two of them to do like a, a conduit race to see who installs the most conduit. Um, anyhow, uh, you know, uh, YouTube, uh, if you're on YouTube right now, uh, just click the subscribe button, click the like button. Uh, we got lots of really cool things coming up. Uh, but again, you know, lasers, uh, you know, as an electrician, one of the uh, big challenges I always found on the job site was, uh, you know, there was never enough lasers on the job site. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they can be pretty pricey. Uh, you know, they go, they can start at about a hundred bucks for a really basic one and they can go anywhere up to about 400 bucks. Uh, you know, so it wasn't in my budget to go purchase one. And, uh, you know, the companies, you know, they, they, some of them would have one or some of them have three or four, depending on the size of the company. So it was always one of those big challenges to, uh, you know, to find a laser. Another thing that I found uh, that was a challenge was lining it up. Uh, you know, if you're doing a really long run, two, 300 feet, uh, you've got your laser at the one point, uh, you know, you turn it just slightly. And then at the other end, it's, it's shot off like several inches. Uh, and then the, the last, the last, real challenge that I always found with uh, working with the uh, the lasers on the ground. You, you know, sometimes uh, in most cases we would have to do them on the ground because there wasn't anything to put the laser on uh, to, to get it where we needed it. So it was always on the ground. Uh, you know, you're up there, you're working, you've got your line, you've spent, uh, you know, you spent 20 minutes getting your laser lined up. And as you're doing it, you're getting it up there. All of a sudden some drywaller comes by, kicks your laser and then you know, if, and especially if you're in a lift and you're kind of pretty high in the ceiling, that's always very, very frustrating. Um, also, you know, when you're in a lift and you've got a laser on the ground, uh, just kind of, uh, you know, positioning so the laser line isn't blocked by the lift. Uh, so, you know, again, lots of challenges with the, uh, the, the lasers that they have out there. So we've got the, uh, we, we have some additions to the uh, conduit spacers. Uh, we've put some markouts on the, uh, on the spacers around the outside of the slot where the conduit fits. Um, we put one at zero, 90 and 180 degrees. Uh, this is great if you don't have the inserts and you wanna just use a straight edge to kind of mark out uh, where your connector would go on your panel or gutter box. Uh, also, you know, if you're an apprentice and you, aren't really that great at bending pipe yet. Uh, it does take time. Uh, one of the things I found uh, as an apprentice and, and working with apprentice, uh, the most common thing was uh, bending those dog legs just because, uh, you know, you get your first bend and then you're not turning it completely 180 degrees. Uh, so, you know, your, 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 your bend is going to be off a bit. So, you know, with these arrows, uh, you know, you have it on the top of your conduit, do your first bend, just turn your pipe right around uh, line up with the uh, the 180 degree point, and uh, there you go. You're going to have a, a pretty straight offset, hopefully. Um, so yeah, and now we've uh, we've added even something further. Uh, this is with uh, what we call our Ben Buddy system. Uh, now um, we have the we've purchased uh, some green pointer lasers. Now these are not self leveling lasers. Okay, uh, they're very inexpensive. Uh, but they're very effective. And uh, the laser fits, uh, we now have a hole in the, uh, in the pipe pal conduit spacer uh, where you would just, uh, you know, simply insert the laser into the, uh, into the spacer. And uh, it can go either way. So you can have it be the, you know, the laser going through the front or the laser going through the back, uh, depending on whichever way your, your P clamps are facing. Uh, so, you know, you can uh, get that laser in there. Now, the one thing that I found today while messing around, I was uh, really frustrated with this because, uh, you know, they, they are not uh, very, they're, they're, they're great laser pointers. It's, uh, it's green, but again, you know, the, the diode inside is not, uh, you know, at a zero degree. So it's not seated, uh, you know, at zero degrees, you know, it might be like 0.1 of a degree off. Uh, but 
regardless of that, you know, if you have a laser that's not on point, uh, you know, again, as you shoot it down, uh, it's an exponential error. So like I said, if you're a 16th of an inch out uh, at 0.1, 200 feet down the road, you're, you know, you're, you're an inch out. Uh, it's so, and like I said about lining the lasers up and what I found was, uh, you know, when I added a second uh, conduit spacer on there, uh, so I had one on the back and I had one on the front uh, and I put it up and I started to, I was able to manipulate it ever so slightly. Uh, so now I found uh, a great new use, uh, you know, if I were uh, putting up my first pipe, uh, you know, I could always use the pipe pal conduit spacers if the rack is, uh, you know, the rack uh, is, is straight. Um, if the rack, you know, if I'm not certain if the rack is, uh, you know, completely straight, I don't know if somebody threw a level on it, uh, you know, then essentially what I would do, uh, I would put up, you know, a, a stick of pipe in between, uh, you know, the first two sets of rack. Um, and then I would place my pipe pal conduit spacers with the laser on either end. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I would just get my mark at the other end, get the guy down there, tell me where that mark's supposed to be and just line it up again, just, you know, just manipulating it ever so slightly. And, and I was just, uh, I was pretty blown away when we just added the second conduit spacer, uh, that how much more versatile uh, it made that. Now as well, we have some, uh, we have some other stuff coming up also. Uh, we have uh, something so you can put your racking up um, you know, so if you want to, you know, you're putting your inserts in the ceiling, uh, we have a layout system for that also. And the great thing, it's right in the ceiling. You don't have to worry about anybody knocking it over, um, uh, you know, uh, or whatnot. Uh, somebody walking off with your laser. It's in the ceiling. You don't have to go up and down on your lift now to keep moving things over. You just take it off, get to your next area, you know, do the lineup that you got to do and you're on your way. Um, so yeah, we've got the, uh, the, 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 to set up for the, uh, you know, inserting for your racks, uh, to line up your rack and whatnot. And that's also, uh, that's going to be great for plumbers. I know that I've talked to a few plumbers, uh, and they've seen some of the products we have and they're like, oh my God, this is great. And I'm like, sorry, it's only for electricians. Right. You know, but, uh, we don't want to exclude them. Right. We want, uh, we want everybody to get their hands on the pipe pal products. And, uh, yeah, so you know, uh, we've got the videos there again. Uh, hit subscribe or like the video, uh, share it uh, if you like what you see. Uh, we're getting some great feedback. We're going to be hitting the uh, the trade schools, uh, talking to apprentices about it. Uh, again, you know, uh, these guys don't have much knowledge going on to the uh, into the trade, and in a lot of cases, uh, you know, I found that uh, I I got in the trade a little older, and people didn't really want to take the time to teach me how to do things, so I had to kind of figure it out myself. So, you know, these, uh, these are great tools if you're just learning or, you know, if you want to just get a little bit quicker, uh, you know, you're just tired of the inconvenience of your laser getting kicked over or, uh, you know, even move slightly, uh, you know, this, this is a great solution. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a fraction of the cost of uh, a self-leveling laser. So uh, Mike Myers, if, uh, if you hear this video, Right. Anyways, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Work smart, not hard. And hey, guys, get piped. Talk to you soon.